Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Also check me out on Twitch as Floyd Mason. Pretty cheap right there. I mean, I don't know how to get up there, but it's seeing me. Um... Hmm. Yeah, because I have to bring all these items over one at a time. I'm gonna be annoyed. I mean, I can swim pretty good across the top, so I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, I guess let's bring everything over there one at a time. Drop a save here quick. Swim along the top until we get to the fish on the other side. Halfway through the coins, but I know where I could get like a couple more. Okay, so we'll just wait till he's out of out of our range. <laughs> Whoops! Whoops! But it's like honestly very easy to drop down a screen by accident. Okay, he's pretty good. So, I'm not gonna lie, they've made this water part annoying. Like, it's very hard to get around the monsters because they're it's the same as like the, the um, broomstick one in Wonderland where like. They're off screen, so you have no idea where they are when you come on screen. Like, that should have been far enough over. I guess they also don't move if they're not on screen. Like, it's weird. It's weird to me. I'll figure this out. I'm going to have to do this like three times too, which is annoying. But next time I might go along the bottom. I'm just kind of screwed in this one because of where this fish is right now. Goddamn. Fish. Will you screw off? Get out of my goddamn way. Ugh. It's a good thing I started using safe states. That would have been. <laughs> would have taken me a while to beat this without knowing what to do. Because um, <clears throat> again, like once you know what you need on each side, it gets a little easier to kind of decide what to come back and forth with. Okay, let's let him get super far over. Then we'll go super cautious with it. Right, he's way over. So now let's go here. Now this should be enough, but let's. Drop a save. So he shouldn't be moving, so he should still be way off to the side. There we go. There we go. Okay. And let's we'll leave those two things here. Let's go see what that bag is. Now we gotta climb all the way to the top. But that's okay. Oh yeah, we can also go. Oh, no, I need that. <clears throat> I need at least the, the Bible to get out of there, I think. And the key to open it, I'm assuming. But I, I don't think there's too much left, which is good timing, because we're coming up in around two hours. Which is kind of my plan for the day. So we might be able to beat this, which would be good. As long as I, as long as, again, as long, like similar to Nightmare, as long as I beat it on stream, I don't mind playing it offline, but I hate beating it for the first time offline, kind of, which like, I guess shouldn't, right? Like, especially a game where you just, you know, especially like Nightmare where you don't really care, you're just trying to like speed run it. I probably could have just done it all offline, but what are you gonna do? Okay, here we go. Go 
This way we can may as well get the coin. Oh, nope. Can't go that way. Forgot. Let's reach up up there. That'd be cool. There's a coin there, there's a coin on the jump over here. <clears throat> there's that coin. Maybe, maybe you use the pogo stick to get that one. So that's probably for the guy to buy the boat. So, like, do I even need to get the cursed chest? <clears throat> Maybe not. Let's go see if I can just buy that boat and get out of here. I mean, if that's all you need, but, like, you have to, you don't have to do the stuff. Like, that's, again, it, it could be a very cool, like, difference of, like, how much stuff you need to get. Like, I'm kind of hoping that the any percent is much easier than the 30 gold coin one. Like, you know, if you don't have to go get his chest and you don't get the pogo stick and things like that, you don't need the axe. <clears throat> then you can probably do a pretty quick run. It's really just got to get to the other side, get the dynamite and get back. Which is not too bad at all. Alright, now let's see where this, this idiot is today. Behaving. Yeah. Pretty good here. We'll just swim, because we can. It's like, I wonder what's down in the, the smuggler's cave as well. Like, maybe you can't get past that fire. Like, maybe it's just that coin in there. To make this jump. Ooh. Don't need those to do right now. I see. Thank you. Here's the boat you need. Take it to the pier. Dehydrated boat. Alright. Whatever, game. That was gonna be it. I was like, I beat it. Um, but I guess we don't have to take the key over. We can bring the chest back. Any worse? My motor got one here somewhere, but it'll cost you. Oh, oh, you. All right. He got us. Got us again. <clears throat> okay. So if we take the chest back, or sorry, we take the Bible back. I assume that's what we need to get. Uh, out of the grave. Then we can bring the chest back here. And then unlock it. So we don't do two trips back and forth. And like the trip this way is pretty easy. It's the trip back that's hard. This trip. It's like there's just almost no sense swimming back. There's so many enemies. That'll just kill you. That's just safer to go across the bottom. It's only that one spot because you don't know where that one fish is. So, like, you know, once um, you kind of do it enough times and you have a routine, you're fine. Right? Because you can see it's coming back already. So by the next time I go through that screen, that's it. Okay... 
now I don't want the flippers. And we'll pick this up so it's first. Oh uh, no, I can't pick it up. So I need... It's actually super annoying, because like, again, you put the snorkel down. So can I cut it and jump? Oh, into the fire though. Um, there we go. Now we're good. Hey, welcome back, Dr. Leandra. How was your lunch? Very close to mine. I'm supposed to be on more of a eating healthy kick, but uh, I am alone today, so I'm gonna eat what I want. But I will jump on the bike for like half an hour later, so that'll yeah, that'll even it out. Eighteen coins. Okay, let's see if the Bible saves me. It did. All right, sweet. So I pulled a potato, mashed it, made it into a patty. Wow, it's uh, not too not too shabby. Oh, there's this. I got a coin on this tree. <laughs> I was just trying to put down my Bible. Uh, okay, so let's take the cursed treasure. I think we're getting pretty close to beating this. Again, I'm kind of trying to use the coins as a gauge because there's 30 of them in the game, um, and I think I know where like. 23, 24 are, but like, I, again, I just got one. I just snuck under him there. Um, I just got one, like, on a tree. So, it does seem like a lot of work for lunch, but I mean, sometimes it's worth it, you know? Like, it's kind of nice. Like, sometimes I'll make a big breakfast, you know, where I do the whole bacon and, like, homemade kind of, like, hash, hash type, like, mix. Um, and the eggs and all that. And, like, I'm not a huge fan of breakfast, and, like, honestly, it's, like, half the time not worth the effort, but... Um... Bah. Uh, that didn't work. Hmm. Maybe I give him the cursed treasure, and he's like, how do I open this? And I give him the key. Ah, thanks. Here's the motor I promised you. Oh, interesting. So I just had to give him the cursed treasure without anything. Um. Hmm. It's not letting me put the motor anywhere. I guess it doesn't... The motor doesn't have a... Maybe an image, so you can't just place it anywhere. You have to place it here. Interesting. Go. Uh, okay, why aren't we going now? Uh, what else does he want? Uh, I'm using uh, Messen, M-E-S-E-N, um, which is what I use for all of my games except Wonderland Dizzy. I need to use Bizhawk because it crashes. You need some gas, so I might have some here, but you're not having it for free. This guy. Didn't we? Uh, where haven't I been? Because, um, like, there's nothing more to the left. I don't know anywhere that needs a key. Oh, you know what? I bet you the brass keys for down, down in the uh, minor thing. Let's get the flippers. Let's go down there. This guy's, uh, he needs a lot of stuff to give me this boat. Oh, 
Oh yeah, because because there's different there's different uh, games with the same name, so they are different games. So like this would be a whole new category on that. Because <clears throat> like again, they made a bunch of these games and they made them. Um, so the ZX is the Spectrum, and that's what I'm going to download uh, this this month and play a bunch on. Because um, that's the one that uh, um, Fatty has a lot of these Spectrum records. There we go. All right. Kind of want to do that. You found Blackbeard's secret kitchen. No one's entered here in hundreds of years. Interesting. Coin. Vintage brandy. Nice. Yeah, so there's a coin there. A couple more I missed. So I'm assuming this brandy is good enough for him. Okay, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's close enough. Like, but I, th I think it's easier just to put it under that same one. Um, I've talked to the, the, uh, um, moderator of the whole Dizzy series before. When I got to Wonderland at it, he was super nice. Super nice person. Um, and then obviously Fatty is like one of the bigger runners for all the Spectrum ones. And they are incredibly nice as well. So. Try to grow up the Dizzy community a little bit. I'm going to make Darth run this as, this one as well. Um, although honestly, I think Wonderland's a bit better. I feel like this one will be shorter. Well, actually, I mean, Wonderland only takes 15 minutes. So, the fact that you can, like, die that one is, uh, kind of nice. There you go, buddy. Hello, sir. Back for the gas. Tell you what, I'll throw in the can for free. Uh, how kind. A gallon of petrol. Oh, yeah. This seems like it. This seems like the last thing. <clears throat> so I've definitely seen at least, like, five coins I didn't grab. There you go. What now? This boat just never ends. I can't only need an addition key. Oh my god. What else am I missing? So I've been up there, which is where I got the flippers. There's nothing more underwater that I can think of. The only thing I haven't used is the pogo sticker, pogo stick, and that's it. I like, I, mm. so where do you use that pogo stick? That I might look up. Not gonna lie. We'll have to swim over again because the fish is in an annoying place, I know. So this this part I'd, I'd say is the weakest part of the game, is that you have to go out here because this fish is just out of position. You can't get over it when you're coming this way, and he only moves when you're in the screen. So you got to move him back into a spot where you won't die coming up. So that should be good. And then... Then avoid those two big green jellyfish by coming out far enough this way. There we go. Alright, pogo stick. Know what else? I might I might look up how to finish this one. So we're getting past the time, you know, I gotta get lunch, I wanna get some some playing in. Um, treasure. Dizzy. Because again, like once I figure out how to beat this one too, in theory, if it's pretty close, I can beat it on the Spectrum and the Amiga as well. I think I think this is the one too that Fatty told me was the the Spectrum one to start with. Okay. No. 
yeah, even just reading the first steps in the spectrum, it's definitely different. So that's good. Okay, so it seems like you do use the pogo stick underwater. Oh, uh, hmm. so if you don't move the fish, you will come up on it. Yeah, yeah. So the the fish underwater stay where they are. Um, so you gotta kind of lure it back, right? So it'll still be kind of off to the right now. So I can quickly go, and so I'll get a couple times, but like, probably two or three times in screen, it turns around and back in your way. So, yeah, so you use the pogo stick exactly where I used it, but slightly different than I used it. So... Here we go! Oh no wait, I'm using the flippers. Come on. There we go. And there we go! Now we're in the island in the sky. So you don't use B like you use everything else, you just jump with it and it works. So that's a little tricky. Island in the sky. Alright. Um... Guess I'll leave the flippers up here. Well, no, I'll leave the pogo stick. I don't think I need it anymore. Fire resistant suit. Oh, now I can go. Okay. Yeah. I see. <clears throat> so now I can go through that fire uh, down here. So I was about to leave the flippers, but like, I'm gonna assume that's the only spot I need the pogo stick. I feel like I just need one more treasure. So now I can jump through the fire here. <clears throat> Please don't fall in there. there. See? Safe. Uh, <laughs> don't like the look of this. Okay. If you want to guess, I gotta run real quick when I grab this. Um, again, like, I don't really want to leave something down here, but. It's gonna be my flippers. Run, 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 run. That was pretty absurd. I feel like I got away. I don't understand what's killing me on this next screen. Let me let me look at the the guy again. And okay. Um. 
I'm scared in my head. Apparently it's like warps in the game too, that's pretty cool. Um, hmm. I mean, you know, it seems to say just like, run. Yeah, like I think it's that far one that's killing me. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think just, like, holding left when I came into this room was causing that, that rock that far away to kill me. Just holding left running into that room kills you, I guess. Oh, well. I figured it out. Apparently, too, if you're holding an item uh, in your hand when you pick up the gem, it puts it in the gem spot and you just lose it. So, like, there's definitely some tricks in this game that will cost you. Ooh, yeah, like, I don't have my flippers now. So I can't swim past this guy. So I'm gonna have to be quick. And he goes off screen. Nice. Okay, and I found about this green algae was a good jump spot. <clears throat> mm hmm. Yeah, so I th I'll have to look in those two warps, but, like, I feel like this game is beatable pretty quick. Like, I feel like a 15-minute in this one uh, will be a good starting spot. Maybe not, you know, but compared to, like, Wonderland, there seems like a lot less to do. You just gotta get the four items and bring them over here. So you gotta get him the brandy, the two chests, uh, and this large diamond. And that's it. There you are. Sorry to see you go. You've been my best customer. Alright, ignition key. We Oh, there's a secret coin over here. Congratulations, you escaped the island, but you still need to collect all 30 gold coins. Ah. So I guess maybe it's not an ending if you uh, don't do them, because you can still play. So I would maybe I'd say that there's not. But, I don't know, I think you can still have one where that's just the ending, right? Like, I mean, that says congratulations, you escaped. So I think I would count this as one, and then do the coins as another. It's fine. I'm not going to go back and get the 30 coins right now. Because um, I don't have my flippers and I need them for one. So, I'd be screwed. Um, so, I mean, you know, I think that's uh, good to call it for today. Um, I'll probably try and do... I might do a run of this tomorrow. Um, just because I know where everything is. Just so I can get it submitted and get started on adding to the board. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Like, an any percent here, and then 100% is the coins, and uh, seeing what's what you have there. But yeah, this this is a pretty fun little one. Um, again, that fish part is tricky, but I think you can make it similar to kind of like the boat in... in um, I can't even remember the name of the one I have the world record in. But that one. <laughs> um, where if you just time the fish correctly, because I mean, in theory... And I, there's apparently warps that you can take. Um... Let's actually go let's go see if we can get one of the warps to work. But I think it warps you across the water, so you might be able to utilize them and not do the swimming parts. 
but I don't think you have to get that much across. Like, you need to get the axe back, you need to get the Bible back. Um, whoa. Weird. <laughs> so the boat doesn't sync up on the screens, it's separate. Interesting. Um, So it's, I think just getting the items across the water is kind of the the planning part of this. All right. So this warps up here. And now... Let's see. Pull, pull, get the right clutter, jump left off the cloud to the next screen. Lay on another cloud. <laughs> Secret warp. I think there's actually a coin in that B, which is tricky. Um, but apparently, whoop. Um, see warp. Uh, don't really appreciate that warp. <laughs> I guess it's not bad, but you gotta have the. <laughs> make sure you have the thing on. You just die. Um. Alright, I mean, like, yeah, so utilizing those warps, you can probably get around the fish. Um, so the first time you might want to use it, but, like, that warp, getting to those, those clouds is kind of annoying, you gotta climb way up. But it's, you know, could be used. You can maybe look into trying to use it. Um, but yeah, it's another beaten game. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to put a speed run together for that, I don't think. So I think this week we're going to work on this one and uh, Wonderland. Because I'd like to at least get another minute and a half off of Wonderland. Um, I have to decide. I should do my research. I might do a little tomorrow. But Fatty and I have very different runs. And in theory, I think they should be the same. But he's about three minutes faster than me. Two or three minutes. And I don't know if that's just the way I'm doing it. I'm dying too many times or like it just generally is slower. Um, or maybe he just, like, did better at the flying parts, because I don't feel like my flying is very consistent. So I need to kind of watch the two and compare them. Um, let's see what's going on. Um... But yeah, so my time's 17.36, and his is 15.49. Forty-nine. So I'd like to get below this. I'd like to get a sub seventeen in that one, and then maybe do as a maybe do a dizzy or daisy run, just to get something in that one as well. Um. Thanks for watching. Please click to check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and come by Twitch under Floyd Mason to join my live streams.